supporters here this morning. And you Eagles supporters. So maybe a little bit too early for the fans to let themselves be heard. Here you can see the Singapore American School Eagles gathering at their own 10 meter line. Eagles, of course, co coached by Sean Go and Mr. Brian Cool. ISKL team still near their tent. Both teams have final words, final words of encouragement. And we're about to get going here. Of course, I asked this rugby, two 15 minute halves split by a five minute halftime. Once again, the competitive implications of this game, almost negligible, but both teams trying to generate some momentum before they play their final games of the day in the tournament and the season later this afternoon. So Eagles seem ready to play. Starters marshalling themselves to the field. Both teams in their light home jersey, but still easy to tell apart. Eagles, of course, in their customary red and white. ISK in their customary hooped uh, yellow and blue. Shout out ISK AD, Mr. Jake Stockman. Shout out SAS AD, Mr. Justin Tevez. So here we go, Eagles about to kick off. That's number 10, Curtis Gray, senior from New Zealand. Curtis, of course, also captain of the SAS boys soccer team. Most of the for this game, Joe Murray, assisted by Damon and Harry. So ISKO want to have a quick word with the referee. Seems like the referee has told him enough. Here comes Curtis's kick. And away we go, friends. So well kicked by Curtis just across the 10-meter line. Uh, Ice Kale lets it bounce into the SAS hands. That's Charlie Cool. And Eagles pushing the ball right through the middle of the ISKL defense. Eagles rucking over the ball. That's This is number 33, Cam Bowling. Only a 10th grader. Cam pushing through the ISKL line. Eagles doing well to come over the top. Now pushing the ball up the right sideline here in the shade underneath the trees. That's number 11, Connor Murgatroyd, also a senior. So Eagles looking to recycle the ball, running the ball a little bit up the middle. Once again, that's number 33, Cam Bowling. Well played over the top. Here's Noah Yee for the Eagles, pushing forward through the ISKL defense. All right, the referee's seen enough here. It's a penalty for ISKL. SAS not rolling away efficiently. Oops. Re check that. IS SAS not letting go of the ball. So referee de determining that. Oh, ISKL looking to kick the ball in. Oh, tap and go. Here we go. Kicking the ball into touch. It's going to be an ISKL line out. Nope. Check that. So let's see what ISKL does here. They're at their own 22-meter line just behind it. A little precarious position. Singapore American Schools had a pretty good line out this season, especially this tournament. The only time they've lost the line out is really when hooker Tommy Fowler unable to throw the ball directly down the middle. So Eagles fans letting themselves be heard now. Well taken, line out by the Eagles. Ball being recycled out. There's Curtis Gray. One skip pass out. That's Ethan Cohn running into contact. Ethan's got handy footwork and is fast and is tough. Generally, very good characteristics for the sport of rugby. So Eagles clear out the ruck. Ball mishandled by the Eagles. So here comes number 23. That's Tommy Fowler, the hooker. Oh, Tommy's fast enough to get around the ice kale defense and into the try zone. And he's about to put the ball down as close to the middle of the sticks as possible. So Eagles jump out to a 5-0 lead here. We're going to see Curtis Gray step to the ball and try to convert the two-point conversion. So Ice Kale a little bit disorganized in their defense. 
Despite the Eagles mishandling the pass out of that ruck, Tommy Fowler successful in evading all the tacklers and getting into the try zone. So there's Curtis, the flag goes up. That means he's scored the conversion. That's a two point conversion. Th score right now is 7-0 to the team in red and white. So as you can hear behind me, the local wildlife is excited for the Singapore Eagles first try. We've got a chicken coop with a few roosters here beside us at the David Toes broadcasting booth here in Manila. Here is the Eagles kick. Uh, another successful kick by Curtis Gray, recovered by the Eagles. Pushing the ball forward is number one, that's Felix Van Ildik. Here's number 11, that's Connor Murgatroyd Sr. Just like his counterpart, Ethan Cohn, fast, agile, and tough. Great characteristics for a rugby player. So the referee's seen enough. Here's a penalty for the Eagles. Let's see what Curtis is going to do with it. Looking to kick it into touch for an Eagles line out close to the try line. So not a lot of energy here from either team. Eagles trying to play efficient rugby. KL trying to stoically hold the line. Both teams a little bit dinged up by this phase in the tournament. Of course, this is the fifth match in three days. So probably much more rugby than they've played all season. And certainly much more intensity, much higher stakes than anything they've experienced all season. So Eagles successful with the line out. Scoring the ball just underneath the uh, goal posts. The sticks jumping out to a 12-0 lead. Once again, Curtis Gray stepping to the ball here to try to convert the two-point conversion. So a good time as any for us to shout out the seniors on the ISKL rugby team. It's number nine, Mason from Australia. Number 12, Efe from New Zealand. Number eight, Lucas from Canada. Number 29, Ranveer from India. Number 12, Check that, number 32, Ilham from Malaysia. So that's the five pack of seniors on the ISKL rugby team trying to do what they can to slow Singapore American schools roll into the championship game. So here's Curtis kicking off again. We've got about five minutes to play in the half. There's another high kick from Curtis to the left side just across the 10 meter line. Once again, ISKL lets the ball bounce. Eagles recover it. This has historically not been good news for ISKL. Curtis runs the ball back through the middle. It's gonna take two or three or four players from ISKL to, to bring him down. Here's Ethan. Out to Thomas, to Curtis, into the middle. Here's Felix. Felix runs it up the gut and mishandles the ball. It's immediately a penalty, advantage penalty for ISKL. That was a knock-on. Referee saw it. Great opportunity here to shout out the uh, Philippine Rugby Union referees here. Nothing short of fantastic this weekend, of course. Arguably the most stressful element of a tournament organizer's job is to find uh, the best possible referees. And as you all know at home, the best possible referee is a forgettable referee. Because if you remember the referee, that means they did something to your team or another team that was unjust. And these refs have been outstanding or let the boys play as much as possible. So 8.08 here in Manila. Likely just after 1 p.m. in New Zealand. Especially way out there by Gisborne. Mid-afternoon in the, in the summertime. Must be lovely out there these days. 4 p.m. Central Standard Time in Minnesota. Must be miserable up there these days. And ISKL to have a line out around midfield. So this could be the first time that ISKL is going to bring the ball across the middle line as we have a 14-0 score with seven minutes to play.
Uh, here's great effort by Ayas Kale to retain the ball. Good tackle by the Eagles. That was number 10 for Ayas Kale. Hansoon, of course, he's a junior. It's going to be a scrum for ISKL. Referee saw an infraction a few phases ago. It was a knock-on. So let's see what the ISKL scrum can do against the Eagles scrum. You might be wondering, fans, why uh, IASIS chooses to play the 10-player version of rugby. Of course, the more common version of rugby union, 15-player rugby union, 15-player rugby, check, excuse me. A cheeky little chip and go by Thomas. Thomas is the Eagles captain, number nine, also a senior. Knocked forward by Thomas. Going to be an ISKL scrum again. So that's Thomas Bouchard, TLB as they call him. Number nine, Eagles senior and captain. But the 10-player ten ver ten version of rugby, of course, uh, kind of a hybrid between 15s and 7s. And a useful and handy coach once told me, actually former coach from ISKL, uh, Mr. Gareth Allum, once told me that the value of 10-person rugby is that unlike 7-person rugby, offers the big boys a chance to play. And what we're seeing here with all the rucking and covering over the tackle, of course, is big boy rugby. So here's number 10 once again. Speaking of big boy rugby, let's go. So KL pretty successful here keeping the ball. Eagles pushing forward every time. A little bit of dancing by Ice KL, trying to get out to the sideline, but that's Charlie Cool making the tackle. Number 12, Junior. And the referee saw something a while ago again. So it's going to be an Ice KL penalty. Really from the middle of their own half, middle, middle. Midway between the 10 meter and the 22 meter line. Eagles backing up, anticipating a kick into touch. There goes the ball out of bounds. Sure enough, just in front of the 10 meter line. So near the middle line is going to be an ISKL line out. So Eagles trying to get organized. KL trying to get organized. Some substitutions coming on for the Eagles. Number nine, Thomas coming out. TLB out. Number 13, you're not going to believe it, Thomas coming in. So sunny, beautiful day here in Manila. It's about 27 degrees, it's a light breeze. Ball's played, oh, Eagles recovered. No, ball was tapped forward by number 23, another Thomas. That's Tommy Fowler. Tommy, of course, formerly of ISM. Fowler family came to Singapore. Just two, two years ago, kind of at the height of COVID. So here's a scrum for ISKL. SAS looks like they're ready. ISKL looks like they're ready. All right, ISKL wins the ball back. They're rotating it out to the middle of the field. Ooh, that's number 17, handy footwork by 17. Eagles win the ball back. Here's Curtis. Dummy pass. He holds on to it. Eagles looking around. They're pushing through the 22-meter line. Here's number 33, Big Cam Bowling. Ooh, that's number one, Felix Van Eldek. He's not taking any prisoners today. Here's 18. That's Harry Dingemans. Harry puts the ball out to Curtis. Check that. Puts the ball out to Charlie. Charlie kicks it into touch. Not a great pass from Harry, but he was under pressure. So full, full credit to the ISKL defense. We got two minutes to play here, 14-0. ISKL fans letting themselves be heard. Willing their boys into uh, So Eagles making some subs. Number three, Noah E comes out. Number seven, Emmett McCore comes in. So there's the line out taken effectively by the Eagles. Oh, once again. 
This is going to be a KO line out now. Tommy Fowler unsuccessful throwing the ball right down the middle. So Eagles back line getting organized. Curtis backing up behind the other teammates anticipating a kick. So Eagles have some speed behind the ball here. A oh, good line out taken by KL. They recycle the ball out. It's not a great pass, but KL doing what they can. There's the kick. Ethan Cohn lets the ball bounce. Getting fancy handy footwork by Ethan. That's Charlie. Charlie, that's... Good forward run there by the Eagles. Thomas Q picks the ball up. Here's Cam Bowling. Looking to draw as many defenders in as possible. Of course, the more defenders involved in the tackle, the fewer players there are behind and out by the wing. Here's Charlie Cool. He's got some speed, of course. And ISKL defense effectively kicks the ball into touch, out of bounds. So it's still going to be an eagle line out. Just five meters away from the goal line. But well enough defended by ISKL to take the pressure off the kettle. All right, so Eagles are on the doorstep again for a third try. We only have 30 seconds left here in the half. Stay tuned at halftime for some uh, general IASIS-related announcements and some trivia questions. So here's the Eagles line out. Once again, Tommy Fowler. ISKL lined up along their goal line. Oh, Eagles looking to, to maul a little bit. Ball has come out, run across the goal line. And it's placed on the ground. Let's see what the ref says. Okay, ref brings the ball back. It's an ISKL penalty. It's going to be a scrum from ISKL's own five-meter line. So a little bit of danger here for ISKL. Eagles lined up. And here's a kick from ISKL into touch. Referee checking with his colleague. Is it halftime? It is halftime. All right, folks, so after one half of play here, 15 minutes of rugby, we have a 14-0 Eagles lead. ISKL not mounting much of an attack on their back foot most of the half, but doing a great job of keeping the Eagles out of the goal area. So Eagles able to score two tries and two conversions.